Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is JD, and today we're doing another Easy Minecraft tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to craft and use a shovel. Now there is something that is coming in 1.17, there is a little bit of an extra use for the shovel, and we'll get into that a bit later. So first, let's craft the shovel. It's very simple, you just need a couple of sticks, and then on a wood plank if you want a wooden shovel. You can do the same for a stone shovel, but use cobblestone. Or, if you have it, you can also use blackstone. So that works as well. Now, if you want to go up another step, you need iron ingots. You got your iron shovel. And then we've got the golden shovel with a gold ingot. And above that, we've got the diamond shovel with a diamond. If you want to upgrade it to netherite, you need smithing table. You need to take your diamond shovel, add a netherite ingot, and you've got a netherite shovel. There are some other ways you can obtain a shovel. Uh, in chests, you can find iron shovels in villages in the toolsmith's chest. You can also find enchanted iron shovels in the end city as well as enchanted diamond shovels. You can find enchanted golden shovels in ruined portals. Uh, you can just get a plain old diamond shovel in a bastion remnant, and that's Java edition only. And you can also get damaged enchanted diamond shovels from a bastion remnant. There is a chance, a very small chance, that you can get shovels from zombies and husks with uh, looting or without looting, but you are very unlikely because there's quite often less than a 1% chance of getting a shovel. As you can see, we're definitely going to have to kill about a hundred of these to get a shovel, I think. I'm not even going to try. In Bedrock Edition only, there is a chance, a 4% chance, that pillagers and vindicators will drop a shovel. But this is only if they're raiding you. Not if they're spawned in or if they're just uh, patrolling. That doesn't work. They have to actually be in a raid. Now the toolsmith has a chance of having a trade for a shovel. Uh, as we can see, this one doesn't. But uh, there is a chance that you can get a stone shovel from a novice level toolsmith, an iron shovel from a journeyman level, and a chance to get enchanted diamond shovels from an expert level toolsmith. So how do we use a shovel? Well, very simple. So we're going to take a look at all the all of the uh, materials we can use or we can pick up with a shovel. Start with grass block. There we go. It's um, been picked up as dirt. Coarse dirt gets picked up as coarse dirt. This is also picked up as dirt. Now if we try it with path block, we get dirt again. With mycelium, we get dirt. With podzol, we get dirt. Yeah, I'm seeing a pattern there. With sand, of course, we get sand, red sand as well. And this is soul sand. We get soul sand. For soul soil, we get soul soil. Here is concrete powder. We get concrete powder. This is snow. So watch what happens. We get snowballs. Now this is just uh, top snow or snow layers, we also get snowballs. Now you may be wondering why I have these like this. Well, there are some properties with some uh, blocks that there is a bit of a difference here. Now if I just use the regular netherite shovel with clay, we get this, clay. We don't get the clay block. Now if I use netherite shovel with the gravel, most likely we're going to be getting a gravel, well, just gravel, right? Now, if we use Silk Touch, now I'm going to go through these in a moment. With gravel, of course, we'll just get gravel. With this, we'll get a clay block. Now, let me clear these out of the way so you can see these coming in. So with a grass block, we get actual gra grass block. Path block. Mycelium, Podzol, a snow block, and 
Snowball in that case. Now on to the gravel. This time we are going to be using the regular shovel. There's a chance that you can get flint from this. So I'm going to keep going until we get flint. And so far, there it is. We got a flint. That took a little while and, oh, that's an interesting uh, glitch there, though. <laughs> Ignore that. Now, let's look at how fast they are. I've arranged them in order of speed from slowest to fastest. That's right, golden is the fastest, but it has the lowest durability. So first of all, let's look at wood. And it's it's the slowest, of course. It has a durability of 59 as well. Stone. That's a bit faster. It has a durability of 131. Now iron is pretty quick. And that has a durability of 250. Now diamond is very fast. That has a durability of 1561. Netherite is... Eh, with one little difference, is pretty much the same speed as golden. It's almost instant. It's actually 0 0.1 seconds. It has a durability of 2031. A golden shovel, as you can see, very fast. And it has a durability of only 32. The shovel does have some other uses. You can put out a fire on a campfire. You just right click and it's out. You can also use a shovel to make grass path blocks. So you just right click and there is the path. But there is something new in 1.17. We're here in my 1.17 snapshots world and normally you'd be able to make path blocks on grass, right? That's the way it is in Bedrock right now, that's the way it is in Java. But in 1.17 you're going to be able to make path blocks, which are no longer going to be called grass path. They're going to be called dirt path blocks. You can do it on dirt. You can do it on coarse dirt. You can do it on podzel. And you can do it on mycelium. Shovels can also be used as weapons. They're not very powerful weapons, but they are usable as weapons. Uh, in Java Edition, there is a, a speed modifier, which means it takes one second to recover, but there is no recovery time in Bedrock Edition. Now, the damage done by the shovel differs as well. In Java Edition, it's one and a quarter hearts, while in Bedrock, it's one heart for sho uh, wooden shovels. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That takes a while. If you want to use a stone shovel, uh, let's see. In Java, it's 1.75 hearts, while in Bedrock Edition, it is one and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The iron shovel, on the other hand, in Java, it's 2.25 hearts, and in Bedrock, it is two hearts. That should take five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, golden shovel. This is just the same as wooden shovel. It's the same uh, strength. So also keep in mind that you are using durability. It should take 10 hits. There we go. The diamond shovel. This is 2.75 hearts in Java and two and a half in bedrock. So one, that's two, three, four. And finally, the netherite shovel. That causes 3.25 hearts damage in Java and three in bedrock. And they're all running away from me. There we go. Let's get you. Two, three, four. Now let's take a look at how you can repair a shovel. You can do it with the crafting table, of course. You can just combine two of the same and you get one. You can also use an anvil. You can, like for example, if you want to repair this, you can put an iron ingot in there and you've got a repaired shovel. Or you can use 
a grindstone. All right. If you're using an anvil, it does take XP. Now with an anvil or a grindstone, you can, uh, let's use two of the same kind, you get a repaired stone shovel. But if you try to do it with enchanted shovels, you will lose the enchantments. Now this is a feature that is exclusive to Bedrock Edition. When you're crafting a boat, you need to use a wooden shovel. Now the wooden shovel acts as an oar. In Java Edition, of course, you don't need to. You just need the wood. Now if you go to the nether and you find a piglin or a piglin brute and toss them a golden shovel, they're very interested in it. They want it. He'll look at it for a few seconds and then it'll be in his inventory. So yeah, they don't give you anything for it. And that is the shovel. So let me know what you like to do with uh, the shovel. Of course, I'm sure you like to dig. Who doesn't? Let me know if you use any of the other features. Also, if you're interested in the enchantments for a shovel, then please check out my enchantment guide. It's uh, in the cards in the top right hand corner, so you can go over and watch that. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing some more easy Minecraft tutorials, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.